Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing like a sunset inspired makeup look. I'm going to be starting off with my Benefit Cosmetics Cabral Pomade in shade 5 and I'm just going to lightly fill in my brow where it's sparse. Next, I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in Medium and I'm just going to kind of carve out the shape of my eyebrow to clean it up and give it a little bit more shape. The concealer shaping part is my favorite part of the eyebrow process. It just is so satisfying to do, especially like if your eyebrows are clean and waxed or freshly waxed, it's the best. Next, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel to kind of polish up my eyebrow just a little bit more. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just going to apply that over my lid and underneath. In order to set the creamy concealer that I just put over my eyelid, I'm going to dust some translucent powder so that it's easier to blend out the eyeshadows that I'm about to apply. Now jumping into my Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette, I'm going to be using the shade Food Videos, the really bright yellow shade, to start off my crease color. Next I'm going to be using Cheese Dust to define the inner crease in the outer corner a little bit more to give it kind of more definition, more uh, depth. Then taking it a touch darker, I'm using the slightly more red shade, Flaming Hot, to emphasize those same areas and kind of just bring more color into the outer corner in the crease as well. And next using the shade Pigment, I am going to just apply this over the majority of my lid. I really like this color and I wanted to not really like put anything on top of it so I decided to keep this look very like soft and matte. Using my Space Case Cosmetics Highlighter seen from Space, I'm kind of just putting this on the inner corner of my eye and underneath the brow arch. Next, I'm using this Illa Masca Liquid Eyeliner in Black to shape out a pretty dramatic like dark wing. I kind of wanted to make it chunkier, so that's what I'm trying to do here. Using my L'Oreal Infallible Nude Eyeliner, I'm just putting that in my waterline just to give my eyes a more opened up appearance. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is like one of my go-to's, my fave mascaras. For lashes, I'm using the Eyelore Talia Game Changer Lashes and I'm just sticking those on with like a regular Kiss Black Lash Glue. For primer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer and this one I really like and it's not heavy or anything and I really like the finish that it has. I don't have any foundations that really like match very well with my skin so I'm, I'm currently waiting on my Sephora package to come in the mail but I just decided to use my Craftobian Cream Palette to apply my foundation and conceal with the shade right underneath like a little bit lighter using this to conceal and highlight underneath my under eye, right between my forehead, my chin, and right above my lip. Okay, for contour, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Match Stick and Truffle. I really like this. It lasts forever. I use it in like all my videos and I still have a bunch of it left, so you'll probably keep seeing it. It just works really good and it's a really good cream contour that I can either apply straight from the stick or I can apply it on my hand, warm it up, use a brush for like a different finish, so I really like these products. Then I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and kind of lightly dust all over my face since I'm going to go back in with a little bronzer. I just want to make sure everything's kind of set. For the bronzer, I am using the Lovecraft Bronzer Palette. I'm mixing the first two lighter shades. I don't know how to pronounce them, but it's Cymbeline and Ceneva. For highlighter, I'm using this Space Case Cosmetics highlighter. I did want to leave this part in because I noticed that I applied some of the highlighter onto like an imperfection on my face, and I just wanted to show you guys how you can see how it like emphasizes things like that. 
I went in with my cream foundation and kind of dabbed that away so it kind of mattified and it's not going to bring any like light or attention to that one area that I didn't want to bring attention to. So yeah. For lips, I am outlining my lips with the NYX Whipped Caviar Suede Matte Lip Pencil. I'm just making sure everything is like as symmetrical as possible. For my lips, it's kind of hard because they're just not symmetrical on each side at all, both lips, so it's just kind of challenging for me, so that's why I take like a long time to go back with my concealer brush and sharpen up the edges and kind of fix what I need to fix, but I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Leo to create a darker outline with the lipsticks now to kind of give it like an ombre effect, I guess. So I'm using that and I'm just applying the color Leo on the outer portion of my lip and then going in with Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin. I'm putting that on the center to draw more attention to the center of the lip so it looks a little bit fuller if that makes sense. I love gloss. So I used Star Crown, Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick, put that over top and kind of just dab that out with my finger too. I'm using the Giovanni Eco Chic Setting Mist. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody is staying safe and keeping entertained. Hopefully I will have a couple more videos out for you guys during this time because I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next one.